and welcome back to Aviary Attorney. Attorney. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Everything went far better than I could have hoped, but you surprised me at the end with that little lie of yours. Lie? This trial's testimonies are completely invalid. Bullcock. You and I both know that this trial has produced ample valid evidence for Mademoiselle Signet to be detained and tried. Even with the coercion accounted for, I bet you would still be found guilty of conspiracy or accessory to murder. So why are you holding back? Hmm. You know, maybe <coughs> ten, maybe even five years ago, I probably would have prosecuted Mademoiselle Sinead. But uh, when I finished, was fresh out of law school, I thought my role as a prosecutor was to condemn every potential criminal that came my way. I thought... If the guilty person ends up behind the bars or on the hanging dock, then justice has been served. But as I gained experience, I started noticing the details. The details? The extenuating circumstances, the personal considerations, the gaps in the law where even when due process is followed the good letter to letter, good people are punished and wrongdoers walk free. I hated it. So I changed my role. I decided that I should not strive to secure a guilty verdict, but to ensure that justice is served. Oh, look at you, Coco. Yeah, Coco Rico's Edgeworth after he stopped being a punk. <laughs> <laughs> I could prosecute Mademoiselle Signet, and she would definitely be convicted. But that would not serve justice. You're so good. No. We're so <laughs> You're a good lawyer. We like him. We like Edward. You're a good lawyer, Cocorico. You. Well, you're not terrible, Falkun. Jack That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Severin. <laughs> I want to kiss you. Oh, I get to do this voice again. I'm very excited. <laughs> I must congratulate you, Senor Falcon and Senor Sperlson. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Still using that old accent. I, of course, meant congratulations, Monsieur Falcon and Monsieur Sparrowson. It's no big deal. We're just doing our jobs. No, no. Your job ended when you proved my innocence. Everything after that was you going above and beyond your duties. Of course, I was counting on you to do so. A lesser lawyer surely would have stumbled and caved in. Aw, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but before I forget, your payment. Thank you, Monsieur Valtes. This has been a strange case, but I'm glad the truth has come to light. Yeah, money. <laughs> I'll see you out. Wait, Monsieur Valtes, before you go, something has been bothering me. Why did you come to us in the first place? Surely are there are many more reputable lawyers out there who would have thought who would have done a better job. Oh, more reputable than a, the falcon that stands before me? Uh, yeah. Falcon's got a <laughs> sucky track record. Shut your face, Ferris. <laughs> True. He does have a mixed record, but his family name is hugely respected in the lawyer oh, world. Oh, snap! Yeah. I chose Monsieur Falcon as my lawyer for that reason alone. Mm, huh? Very good. Really? I've never heard of another lawyer named Falcon. Let's not go down that road, Mr. Valtes. I don't go by my old name for a reason. That is fair. We shouldn't be fixated on the past, should we? After all, it's already been and gone. The future is where our potential lies. That, which, that we should be paying attention to. A storm is approaching fast. You mean the revolution that the crooked judge mentioned? Indeed. I dare say that the wolf is right. A rebellion is coming. One way or the other. Listen, Monsieur Falcon, you'll probably have a surge of work over the coming days. If you want me to dig up dirt on anyone, please feel free to drop by my office at any time. Yeah, yeah. party member yeah. up! Dig yeah. up the dirt. I am a private investigator. It's what I do. Well, bear in mind. Thank you, Monsieur Valtes. Good day, Monsieur. I like that he continues to be called Prince Juan in his name tag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go get a drink. Seriously, Falcon? What? I was just gonna ask if you wanted tea or coffee. 
<laughs> sure. With whiskey, maybe. Yay! 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 There was no, like, sudden twist at the end, thank yeah. God. No M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, my God. <laughs> no M. Night Shyamalan ding dong. <laughs> okay, so we'll continue on to the next one. Uh, we'll just do it in this video because it's only been five minutes. Let's see what... Get real dramatic with, yep. your, with your last... Do I remember the July Revolution? Remember, remember. Of course. Of course not. How could I ever forget? The chanting, the violence, the smell of gunpowder. <laughs> the three glorious days. Shit's gonna get fucked up! Ooh. Ooh. This is, uh, maybe So what's the difference between those birds and us birds? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like how, for some reason, cows are sentient in My Little Pony, but they still use milk. Shit's going down. Shit is going Shit is down. Oh, going hello, creepy. Mm, fucking, like, grudge all up in here. Yeah, I know, right? Speaking of which, that the trailers for Sayako versus Koyoko... <laughs> Oh my god. Please, please, American release that shit. <laughs> Forever and ever. By the way, if you're not following Kayako and Toshie uh, Instagram blog, please follow it. It's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just uh, Kayako and Toshie just doing like everyday shit. <laughs> like full makeup and everything. <laughs> and they're just. And all the captions are always like, ah, 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 because that's like the noise she makes. And she'll be like looking at Toshi's report cards and like making this like horrified face, going ah ah ah. I can't believe he's skipping work again. I swear, if I find that moping <laughs> bird brain at the gr car Le Canard Joyce. Le Canard Joyce. Ah, finally. Good morning, Fuggle. Morning, Spit. No, wait. There's two in the afternoon. It's two in the afternoon. That means the official greeting is... Where the hell have you been, lazy bones? <laughs> That's a pretty good official greeting. I yeah, like it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it's far too early for this level of roasting. Pass a Cabernet Sauvignon. No way. We've got important business to discuss, and I can't do that if you're half drunk. Yes, yeah, okay. Or you can do a full drunk. Come on, yeah, give me a break. I haven't had a good night's sleep since the trial. Something on your mind? Actually, yes. It's what the wolf judge said about a revolution. Psh. The guy was off his rockers. Our town got busted, but whatever. <laughs> and besides, if we're worried about every potential French revolution, we never get any work done. Am I right? Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Worrying doesn't do us any good. Does anybody else think the music kind of sounds Minecrafty? <laughs> Because I just heard it like ding, ding, ding. I was like, oh, that's Minecraft music. <laughs> Tell me about the important business you want to discuss. Oh. Oh, yeah. The business. I'm going to give you the business. A letter. Yeah. This one's from Par the Paris Police Department. Fancy wax seal and everything. That is indeed a fancy seal. Well, go ahead, Sparrowson. You may have the honors. You can't read. All right. Ahem. <laughs> Bonjour, Falcon. Me meet on the rooftop cafe opposite the place, the palace, place? The place? Play de la Bastille. Place de Bastille. I have a proposal. Regards, Inspector Voltaire. Oh, shit, it's Volerti. Yeah. Uh, that's it. How terse. Volerti's letter has been added to your evidence folder. A proposal from the inspector? Interesting. Do you have any idea what sort of proposal he has in his mind? Married. They want to get married, Can't. Yeah. Not a clue. So, are we going to go meet him and find out? After a drink. <laughs> Maybe you should learn how to read. We may as well. Point. Nope. <laughs> we may as well. Nope. Yeah, yeah we may as well. <laughs> I was going to say nope. I'll probably just keep going and certainly yeah, and take so, my money again. Yeah. I don't know what sort of proposal the inspector has in mind, but we would be foolish to reject it without even hearing him out. Grab your coat. All right, no dilly dally. I like it. Oh, but before I forget, I need to drop by the hospital. You didn't pay your goddamn bill. You were supposed to pay what it. What did you eat this time? No, no, it's nothing like that. Well, not entirely. 
I need to pay the bill from my last visit. Damn it, I told you. That's reasonable. Sure, we can pay a visit, but the inspector's call should take priority, I think, to pay up your bill. <laughs> yeah. A new, a new day. day. Wow, we like to do anything. We just yeah. were like, oh, we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That's where we need to go. Burr. It's far too cold to be meeting on a rooftop cafe. Why couldn't the inspector have chosen a comforter, com- comforter location? Comfier. No. Maybe the inspector looks at you because it reminds him of his days guarding the old Bastille under the ancient regime. Wait, you think the inspector worked here during the ancient regime? Do you think that's how he got his war wounds? It was a joke, Sparrowson. I'm pretty sure the inspector isn't that old. No, oh, hey. Okay. Well, well, well. Severin, what are you doing here? Settle down, JJ. Just like you, I was invited here by the inspector. What could he want to do with all three of us? You weren't invited, Sparrowson. <laughs> Bitch, I read the letter. I got the letter. Mm. <laughs> Don't make me kick you off this damn roof. <laughs> I like to see a try. I have like four tries their size, Sparrowson. I it's quicker with my feet. <clears throat> it's hardly unusual for the lawyers and police of France to collaborate. The inspector probably has a big investigative role that requires all hands on deck. A best. A big investigative role. Sounds juicy. It's not to eat. Oh, by the way, did you hear what happened to Judge Romulus? No, what? He escaped from prison before we we could even try him. Rumor has it that the wolf bribed his jailkeeper and fled for the hills. So he escaped justice. For now. But don't fret. Nobody manages to escape the long arm of the law forever. Speaking of which, Ah, good, you're here. Excuse me, Monsieur, Monsieur Ma- Mr. <laughs> Inspector Voltaire, sir. Falcon and I were wondering, did you get your injuries while defending the old Bastille prison? Don't drag me into this if I was joking. You impotent whelps, I'm not that old! <laughs> I sustained these injuries while in the July Revolution 18 years ago. I was a royal guard, just a lonely peon. The air was thick with gown powder and blood. Oh, great. Now you set him off. We were given orders to change the rebel barricade. My comrades and I were fastened, and I fastened our baronets. Suddenly, boom, without warning. (sighs) A gunpowder keg exploded. My comrades were dead. I was heavily... Shut up, this is a beautiful story. Immerse yourself. That's when I looked up and saw a looming figure standing between the gargoyles of Notre Dame. It was the Viridian killer himself. This is a fascinating story. Viridian killer. Inspector. But perhaps you could tell us why we're here. Oh, right, of course. Why we're here. What am I, what what I am about to tell you is to remain strictly confidential, you understand? It is a matter of national security. As you probably heard, France is under a threat from a certain heinous group. Hipsters. 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 Totally hipsters. Uh, Do you think this will affect us? Hipsters. Hipsters. Okay, we can't choose anything else. Hipsters. It's true. The other day I called a a pup-loving kilp. Pleb. Pleb. For enjoying uh, Chopin. Chopin. God, I actually really like that. Now is not the time for joking, you two. The inspector is obviously talking about the growing rumors well, of I'm very serious uprising. about the hipsters. Yeah, they are taking <sighs> over. Take Correct. Idiots. Rebellion of hipsters. Correct. A rebellion is coming of hipsters. Indeed, rebels. There's a storm brewing in the shadows of Paris. We, the Paris Police Department, have known about it for months. No, years. In every tavern. And on every street corner, people talk of organizing protests and overthrowing the government. 
the king has ordered for public gathering to be dispersed and the newspapers to be censored, but the whispers of disdain remain. No surprise there. If you take away an angry citizen's ability to speak, they will just get even angrier and vote for Donald Trump. No uh, indeed. And that's why it's paramount that we find and strike at the heart of the rebel group as soon as possible. For that, I need your help. What exactly do you want us to do? Interview citizens, scout locations, find the secret rebel meeting location that is that has escaped the eyes of the police. Do we have any leads? Just one. We know that the rebels are having weapons supplied to them by a crooked merchant who is referred to as the Croquet Majeure. Like the sandwich? What? The Croquet Majeure. It's a hot sandwich. Cheese, ham, and a little bit, a little bechamel. bechamel. Thrown on some peppers, and it's a Friday night. This has nothing to do with sandwiches. The Croquet Majeure is the alias of an accomplished and notoriously dangerous arms dealer. In any case, that's everything the, poli uh, the Parisian police knows. That's everything. That's all you have to demonstrate after years of tracking us. Naturally, as a public prosecutor, it's my duty to help the police with their investigative work. I would be honored to lend any and all assistance. Suck up. That's very good to hear, Monsieur Cucurico. But what about you, Falcon? Well, to be honest, Inspector, I don't quite understand why you're asking me. I'm a private defense attorney. I work for citizens who get stuck in legal trouble. Rebel hunting isn't quite my forte. You want to know why I'm asking you? Look around you, Falcon. We're surrounded by corruption and incompetence. Just... The judges are bloodthirsty wolves. The jailers are thieving ravens. <laughs> and the National Guard are sitting ducks. <laughs> Look at the slackers. The dullards who are supposedly protect who are supposedly protect and serve this country. Nobody cares about the justice anymore. Yeah, but aren't you the one that like missed a bunch of crucial evidence? Shut the fuck up. I'm kind of old. <laughs> you saw my shameful display at the previous trials. These are the results I produce with imbeciles to assist me. But you three, you care. Falcon, I saw you defending Dame Catalina and Prince Juan. I heard of your es escapade around the city, frantically collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses. Frankly, you did more investigative work over the last month than I've seen in policemen, see any policeman do in a year. <sighs> Not including myself, of course. Okay. But Dame Catalina. It doesn't matter. You have passion and conviction, and you aren't a total bird ring, a total one. By my book, that makes you a fantastic investigator, even if that is not in your job description. So what do you say? Do you want to sit around your office twiddling your thumbs until another pointless job offer offer it's falls? Not pointless. You don't even have thumbs, you're a bird. <laughs> or do you want to take this opportunity to do something great and help us track down the animals who wish to harm our glorious nation and become America? I mean, yes. <laughs> I would uh, be honored to help my country or thanks, but no thanks. I feel like this is the more... I feel like this is a split. Yeah, I think so too. Or depending on what we do in this trial, it's going to be a split. I don't know. I, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do we want to do? I kind of want to go with uh, investigating for the country, but then again, they're also corrupt and shitty, so. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I no am sense. not. I'm old and wise, and I will become the next king. What do you want? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Make a decision, you guys. Come on. We'll go with whatever you want. You are you are a figurehead, after all. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You make a choice, Spencer. Come on. Come on, don't be a pro. I would be honored to help my country, Inspector. Consider us on board. Excellent. Just what I wanted to hear. I had no idea you were such a parrot, such a JJ. Face. To parrot. To <laughs> yeah, parrot, not a patriot. There's nothing wrong with a little national pride. 
Uh, yeah, Pride is fine and all, but uh, do we get any compensations for this? Yeah. Of course. Oh yeah, there we go. Here are 50 Ooh. francs. You will receive another 50 upon the completion of your work. 50 francs. We're being undersold. Hush, Spirit. This is a great opportunity. <laughs> Just for your poor. I don't want to help keep you any longer than necessary. You already have all the key facts for investigation. Find the elusive Coquet Monsieur and find where the rebels are congregating. Those are your two tasks. I will check upon your progress in three weeks' time. See that you are you can see what you can accomplish by then. Go, Rico. Go, Rico. I will be doing my own independent investigation into the rebel group, JJ. So I suppose this is. A competition of sorts. Try to keep up with me. Bitch, please. Don't make me laugh, Severin. I'll have all the rebel leaders behind bars before you even have your first suspect. Come on, Sparrowson. We have a croak monsieur to hunt. Okay, let's go. Sandwiches, please. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a little competition would kick those bird brains into gear. Well, Inspector. This has been a productive meeting. I should probably start my investigation into the Coquet Monsieur T. Not so fast, Cocorico. There's something else we need to discuss. My rights to become a king. Your lack of hands. <laughs> a new day. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. there's so much to investigate. Well, we'll be back with investigating fucking everywhere <laughs> next time on Aviary Attorney. <laughs>